Hi, this is Justin Latimer, and I'm here with a Rome Total War battle replay. This is after my battle against Pops as the Carthaginians, and this time I am facing Unrivaled Skyrim, who has his own channel. I will link it in the video description of this battle. We decided to do sort of an interesting scenario here. I'm playing as the Frasians, and he's playing as the Rebels. So it's kind of like a Frace versus Spartacus, Spartacus versus Spartacus, Frasian civil war kind of issue. Quite an interesting scenario. So one of the things I'm doing in this battle, I've done it before, is I'm trying to take this hill right here. Because I'm hoping that the enemy wants to take this hill. So if I take this one, I'll be able to pelt him with missiles as he tries to come and attack me. Let's talk about my army composition. In the four here, I have two units of Greek cavalry with quite a few experience upgrades with my general which also has some attack upgrades with the vultures already circling also brought two units of militia cavalry I'm quite fond of cavalry that has a missile component and I brought a lot of pikemen, I brought six units of phalanx pikemen and these guys have attack upgrades they're just large units, too, so they're pretty intimidating. But not only that, they serve the Frasians very well. I've also backed up my army with two units of Bastarne, and these guys have attack upgrades on them. And I went ahead and got another unit of Bastarne with attack upgrades. I have four units of archers with gold attack, and an additional two units of Greek cavalry to form my second component of heavy cavalry, but in this particular instance they are actually light cavalry, but the Thracians cannot get anything better than that. Let's take a look at my opponent's army. My opponent has brought some Bastarne mercenaries. He has four units of those, so we're pretty equally... well, no, it looks like he has five units of those. He also has some archer warband. Barbarian looking guys here. And he's brought five units of archer warband. He also has two units of Greek cavalry, that's the same thing I have. Three units of Greek cavalry. And his general here. Barbarian feller, or slave feller, gladiator, and that's in this unit, the general's bodyguard. All right, let's see how this goes. So I'm advancing for the hill. He's advancing for the hill. We're both advancing for the hill. I'm going to send up my militia cavalry. These guys will pelt anybody who gets too close. I see his army coming, I'm gonna go ahead and send them to harass. Lots of arrows coming in, I have to act quick. So I end up pulling my militia cavalry out, because he's advancing with his cavalry. He's going to have it split off and actually attack my Militia Cavalry. I'm going to reinforce with my own cavalry. And there they go, they're routing. My Phalanx Pikemen are presenting a pretty good front against the enemy. 
and uh, backing up my phalanx with my best RNA. I have a unit of cavalry in reserve here, my militia cavalry. My general and his cavalry are on the flanks of the enemy now. I'm gonna march out to meet his cavalry with mine. He had two units of barbarian cavalry hidden, so he has a cavalry advantage. And they have done quite a bit of damage on my Greek cavalry. I'm now closing with my army. I want to engage. I don't want to waste any time losing more men. I also have to advance my archers because I have enemy barbarian cavalry behind me. My general is going to attack them. I route one unit of the barbarian cavalry. And then the other one. Here my Bastarne are, and Phalanx Pikemen are fighting against unrivaled Skyrims. Unrivaled Skyrim has got some cavalry around my back. Some of it routes, but some of it holds up. This particular unit of Phalanx Pikemen has been thinned out quite a bit, and it has 42 men in it, 38. His general is back here, causing damage, charging into my flank. That smaller unit of Phalanx Pikemen isn't going to be able to hold up against that. Down here, my army's doing pretty well. We've defeated most of the infantry of Unrivaled Skyrim. I'm going to be able to support the fight up here now. Actually running these guys forward. And there goes my general. Because of his foolishness, his men will lose heart. It looks like Unrivaled Skyrim had hidden some barbarian warband that I didn't know about. That unit was able to take down my general. So now I'm going to try to do what I was actually initially planning, taking this hill and holding it. Unrivaled Skyrim's doing something similar with his hill. I massed some cavalry and tried to attack this explosion in a Archer Warband. He had nearby cavalry though, those guys are probably going to scare off my units. You can see here that I am actually surrounded now. I'm going to go ahead and advance my infantry so they can do some damage before they get wiped out. I think my Bastarne are a tad hardier than his. As I'm playing as Frace, mine are a little bit better. The mercenary ones aren't quite as good. I don't think they have the two hit points. He 
He managed to hit this unit of pikemen in the back. That's going to hurt them pretty bad. As well as this one. Over here, my pikemen are doing really well against the barbarian warband. And they're going to be able to be reinforced by this unit. This unit of Phalanx Pikemen is broken by the charge of his general. I'm going to try to get his general with my best RNA. They're being pelted by missiles. I'm sending this unit of pikemen. And of course, being cavalry, they're much too fast. But you gotta try. It's two units of Phalanx Pikemen managed to defeat the warband that was here. And now they've been charged from the back from this unit of Greek cavalry. I'm trying to re rebuild my forces up here on this hill. My Bastarne are exhausted, and this unit of Phalanx Pikemen are shaken, and they're very tired. My Bastarne's morale is still holding up, it's impetuous. So these are really good troops. Sure, they're half naked fanatics, but that's what makes them so great. So the enemy's general is run off again. He's going to get a charge on these Bastarne, though. These Bastarne are shaken. Their morale is not really good. They're routed, and my nearby infantry forces are not close enough or fast enough to be able to help. My Phalanx Spikemen over here have been destroyed. Unrivaled Skyrim still has bows. And he still has some cavalry. All I have left is infantry. This still looks pretty impressive, and I don't have nearly as many of them as I used to. At this point, there's not much I can do. And so one unit of the Phalanx Pikeman routes. And the other one routes. My last unit is this unit of Bastarne. Which I am hoping can do some good. They're now shaken, and they're exhausted. They're probably not going to be able to hold up for long. Unrivaled Skyrim has his warband do the war chant. This will inspire them to do more damage. I best to hit them from behind. The gods test the man's and faith. they break. Today the enemy has snatched a victory that is undeserved. But the tree of victory can grow on you. And so here we are. It's a close defeat. I deployed 1,629 men against my opponent's 1,335. I killed 967. Unrivaled Skyrim killed 1,449 1, men. I have 138 men remaining, and he has 490. So let's look at some of the statistics here. My general's armored bodyguard took down 73 men. So I got quite a bit of use out of them. And the two units of Greek cavalry he was with took down 21 and 51. So they performed really well. They are light cavalry, but as the Thracians have no alternative, they have to function as your heavy, light, and medium cavalry.
The other two units of Greek cavalry took down 20 and 11. Phalanx pikemen took down 31, 74, 59, 82, 109, and 13. My archers took down 38, 60, 71, 31. And Militia Cavalry took down 18 and 32. My Militia Cavalry did not do particularly well in this battle, but I also didn't use them as well as I could have. Mastarne took down 79, 60, and 34. So all in all, all units of my army did perform pretty well, and obviously all aspects of Unrivaled Skyrim's army performed pretty well as well. This was a close battle, and what I could have done to have made it even closer would have been to force my will on my opponent more than I did. If you didn't notice what I was doing as I was mostly reacting to Unrivaled Skyrim's moves, I haven't played him before so I didn't know what to expect. But he's a really good player and he knows what to do. I was basically playing into his hands by doing what I did, and I shouldn't have done that. I also shouldn't have assumed that he wouldn't know to go for this hill here, and perhaps I should have deployed over here. But that's hindsight, you never know what's going to happen when, before the battle begins. Good game to my opponent, he brought a good army, he was very skillful in its use. Ambush on his part was very clever, and also keeping infantry in reserve with the Barbarian Warband proved to be decisive. I'm going to link his channel in the description for this video. I might also link the video that he has posted in this battle. You should go over and check out his channel. He updates pretty regularly. Thank you for watching this battle. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have more soon.